Welcome everyone. If you're looking for the introduction to Looker webcast, you are in the right place. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is John Miller. I am joined by my colleague, Sarah Deal. We're both data and analytic consultants at Therogood, and we're based out of our Philadelphia office. For today's webcast, we'll walk you through four different sections. I will start with what is Looker, I'll give a quick intro on Therogood, then talk about some of the key features of Looker, and then how to get started. So let's jump into it and start off with what is Looker? So if you're not familiar, Looker is Google's visualization tool. Uh, but let's take a step back. Looker was founded as an independent computer software company in California in 2012. It was the first commercially available BI platform built for and aimed at scalable or parallel relational database systems like Redshift, BigQuery, Vertica, and Teradata. The founders of Looker realized that business intelligence and data visualization solutions had up to this point been designed to build reports and dashboards, and they recognized an opportunity to create a new approach to support the ways modern organizations make decisions. So from 2012, its founding, to 2019, Looker is gaining a lot of traction. It's growing a lot, and it's receiving a lot of funding. And at that point, it is acquired by Google for $2.6 billion. The acquisition was finalized in 2020, and Looker is now part of Google Cloud. And you'll see it if you're in the GCP console listed as one of the products there. So diving a bit deeper into what Looker actually is. Looker is a BI application with an analytics-oriented application server that sits on top of relational data stores. It includes an end-user interface for exploring data, a reusable development paradigm for data discovery, and an API supporting or API for supporting data in other systems. Looker's multi-cloud data platform goes beyond BI to help organizations deliver impact through data experiences that fit the way people work. Looker integrates seamlessly into business workflows, embeds into third-party systems, and enables companies to build their own data applications. So they do this by using customizable data experiences to best tailor Looker to your company's needs. Some of these experiences are modern BI and analytics providing real-time relevant reports and dashboards as a starting point for more analysis, integrated insights to infuse relevant information into the tools and products that you already use, enhancing the experience of those tools and making you more effective, data-driven workflows, to supercharge operational workflows with complete near real-time data, and customer applications that are purpose-built tools to deliver data in an experience tailored to your specific job. An important note about Looker is that it's fully browser-based, so changes are automatically saved in your environment, which helps improve collaboration and versioning. Being browser-based, it means that there's no need to download and install software on your local machine or have to worry about local copies of reports. Here we can see what a sample of what the browser looks like as you're trying to start to build out visuals. If you navigate to the visualizations tab, it will then present you with options for some standard visuals across the top bar there, but you can also click on the ellipses to expand for some additional ones. After you build up different visuals, you can then go ahead and build a dashboard, which is a combination of all those visuals. So what does a sample dashboard look like? Well, here's a video from Looker's website itself uh, to show a sample of how a user would interact with a dashboard um, that's been published. This is just a sample uh, meant to highlight some of the different visualization options, interactivity that dashboards provide in Looker. Uh, you'll see that as they interact with and click on the visuals, their selections are added in purple there at the top. So it's easy to follow uh, what filters are being applied on your dashboards. So how does Looker fit into the GCP landscape? I pulled down the developer's cheat sheet that lists out most of GCP's services. It's rather apparent that there's quite a few services, as you would imagine. Looker can be found here under the data and analytics tools. The purpose of sharing this is just to illustrate how many different tools are available within GCP and the immense potential for Looker to help visualize the data that gets used and kind of processed by these other tools. In addition to developing a plethora of their own tools, Google has invested heavily in being a multi-cloud provider, and that approach can be found with their visualization tool. Looker can support multiple data sources and deployment methods, 
which can provide options that would not compromise on transparency, security, security, or privacy. Some of the databases to which Looker can connect outside of obviously Google's BigQuery are Amazon's Athena, Snowflake, and Azure Synapse Analy Analytics. Plus there's a growing list of over 60 other databases that use SQL dialects. With Looker, you can choose your own cloud environment as Looker supports hosting on public clouds like AWS, as well as GCP and in multi-cloud and hybrid environments. Finally, give your team the tools they need to succeed by giving them more flexibility in defining the specific workflows that are needed in their Looker solutions. Looker offers Looker blocks, which are pre-built pieces of code to allow you to kind of plug and play with your data and to help with analytics and insights to drive those results. So I find it helpful to understand where different tools can fit into sample architecture. Uh, starting from the left, you would ingest and store your source data into something like the storage resource right in the middle. And then you can use BigQuery to process data and act as your data warehouse. Once in BigQuery, you could use Data Studio for kind of really simple visualizations. But if you're looking for more interactive, advanced production level dashboards, you'll probably want to use Looker, which is over there on the right of your screen. Obviously, this doesn't represent every individual service that you'd expect to use uh, because there are likely to be more and it varies based on each organization's requirements and standards. But hopefully this kind of paints a high level picture of where in the GCP architecture Looker would fall. So now that we have a, a base understanding of Looker, I'm going to give you a base understanding of Thorogood. So who are we? What do we do? For a big picture, we help our customers make sense of and find value in their data. We are an independent and specialist data and analytics company with a focus on data engineering, data science, and data visualization. Our approach is rooted in understanding business goals and using the capabilities of technology to meet these goals. So customers and business objectives are at the forefront of our approach. We are a global company with offices and consultants in Asia, Europe, and the Americas. I mentioned before that Sarah and I are both based out of our Philadelphia office. We offer a full range of services when it comes to data and analytics. That includes data and technology strategies and roadmaps, end-to-end -end implementation of cloud solutions, user empowerment, and analytics services. We have a lot of experience working with Fortune 500 companies from all over the world and implementing data visualization programs there and helping them update their archaic reports to be more useful, more impactful for the business. I would definitely encourage you to reach out to us following this webcast um, should you have any questions. Now, beyond just being a consulting firm, uh, we do partner with a technology, with an array of technology firms in the business intelligence and analytics market. Those include back-end, front-end, analytics-driven technologies um, that you can see here. We find this independence is helpful to have a holistic view of the space, helps us understand our customers regardless of their current data landscape, and helps us identify the best possible solution for our customers based on their needs. As this is a GCP-related webcast, I do want to call it our experience with Google. We have experience building out solutions within the Google Cloud platform, and you'll find a range of GCP-related content on our website. So with that, I will now hand it over to Sarah to share some key features of Looker. Alrighty, so now you guys have an understanding of what Looker is as a tool. Uh, I'm going to start to take you through some of the key features that we think make it stand out in the market. So at a high level, here are some features that we're going to be talking about and going through. First is Looker's user-friendly workspace. Second is the ability to schedule and automate the distribution of reports. Next is Looker's embedded analytics. Another is the ability for either cloud or on-premise hosting. Then we have my personal favorite, which is the parallel publishing capability. Next, we'll talk about Looker's API. And then finally, look ML, which is Looker's modeling language. So now I'll go into detail about each of these key features and again, why they set Looker apart. So first we have the workspace. John did mention this briefly, kind of talked briefly about the interface already, but Looker's workspace is different compared to other tools and that it's com completely browser-based. So many comparable tools in the market have a browser-based component and then also an additional local application for development. With Looker, you don't have to install any applications on your local machines in order to begin development. 
So everything that you need will be right in the web browser application. This is good because it kind of simplifies the overall user experience and makes it easier and quicker to get going on your projects since everything you need is packaged and managed right in one central place online. So next we have Looker's automated report distribution capability. Like many BI tools, Looker provides a number of ways to share content that you have developed with others in your organization. Users can navigate to reports or you can utilize Looker's scheduling capability, which allows you to send content to a variety of destinations, both native to Looker and also third-party sources as well. The native destinations include email, webhook, an Amazon S3 bucket, and an SFTP server. Automating content distribution removes dependencies on individuals to provide the most up-to-date reports and also speeds up the time to insight for the end users. You can also set and set schedule alerts so you can stay up to date on any changes or data refreshes as well. Next, we have embedded analytics. This feature allows you to embed your reports and dashboards into other internal applications that you might have, so people don't always have to navigate to Looker to view these reports. Looker also provides the capability for single sign-on with embedded authentication, so you're able to present your reports to users without the need for them to enter additional Looker credentials. The ability to embed reports into various internal applications and allowing access through that single sign-on is a great way to make your reports more accessible to users and improves user experience and overall convenience by removing that additional navigation to access these. Like similar BI tools, Looker can be installed on cloud services or on-premises. Where Looker kind of stands out in this area is that it allows you to choose the stack that best suits your organization's needs. Looker offers the capability for hosting on public, private, hybrid, and multi-cloud environments. Looker supports the hosting on Google Cloud, Azure, or AWS, and of course, on-premise as well. This flexibility is particularly useful depending on your organization's preferences or current architecture, along with any security requirements that you might have as well. If desired, Looker makes migration between cloud databases very easy if and when that is needed. And just to note again, regardless of the hosting environment you choose, whether it be on the cloud or on-premise, like we said previously, the entire application is browser-based, so your decision of where it's hosted doesn't impact that. And then, like I said before, one of my personal favorite features of Looker is the capability for parallel collaboration or parallel development within the application. So this is not something that is common across various BI platforms and is a huge benefit for developers. In comparable tools, there can be only one person making changes to your model or reports at a time. There are a few downsides to this format, but this can mainly create a confusion around versioning and also slow down development process with only one person able to make changes or improvements at a time. The capability of parallel development in Looker means that multiple people can be developing at the same time across the various components of Looker. This creates a single source of truth for your models and eliminates the need for multiple different versions being stored across local machines for developers. Not only is this an improvement in convenience, but parallel collaboration also has the potential to massively reduce the time it takes to develop your model and reports and get insights out to your end users much faster than you would without the, avail the ability to develop in parallel. Next, we have the Looker API. Looker provides a secure API that has a wide range of uses. The Looker API can be used to perform a variety of different tasks, such as managing your Looker instance, fetching data from your data platform, creating custom applications and data-driven workflows, writing scripts to provision new user accounts, run queries, schedule reports, and much more. According to Looker, basically anything that you can do with the Looker application, you can also do with the Looker API. And last but not least, we have LookML. LookML is Looker's SQL-based modeling language, which Looker describes as their secret sauce. LookML uses a scripting style called dry or don't repeat yourself, which allows users to write SQL queries once, which Looker can then use repeatedly to generate ad hoc queries. It is user-friendly and provides a predefined syntax for data modeling. The syntax is structured in a way that's easy to pick up in the sense that you don't have to have extensive experience with various different programming languages to use it. You'll create a LookML project, which has three main components, models, views, and dashboards. Models are gonna be where you start to establish your data connections, select tables you wanna pull into your reports, and then start defining relationships. Views then contain your joined tables and any dimensions and measures and calculations that you can develop. Then we have LookML dashboards, which are the last component of a LookML project and contain visualizations developed on the data in your project. 
So now we've taken you through an intro to the platform and also kind of reviewed some of the features that we think make Looker stand out. You might be wondering what you can do to kind of get started with Looker. So if you're still deciding if Looker is the right fit, you can request a demo from their website and sample the functionality for yourself to get a hands-on look at how it functions. At Thoroughgood, we can also provide a range of services regardless of where you're at in your Looker journey. So if you're just getting started, where we can assist in exploring use cases for Looker and GCP, help create a POC or demo to prove if the application is right for your organization. We can also help determine the best approach for migrating from a different platform to Looker and assessing your architecture to see how Looker can optimally fit in. If you're already working with Looker, we can assist in reviewing existing content you've created and advise on best practices and process improvements or help with end-to-end -end implementation of Looker as your BI platform. And that concludes the event today. Thanks everyone for joining and please reach out if you have any questions or you'd like some more information about the application.